Hey gamers, Maniac here with GameAccess.net doing my first ever Xbox One Twitch broadcast. I'd like to thank you guys for joining me. Uh, this will end up on YouTube if all goes well. I'm using the power of the Kinect and the Kinect microphone on the Xbox One, and today we're going to be playing D4. This is an Xbox One exclusive title for pretty much anybody who loves good adventure games, crazy stories, that sort of thing. All are welcome there. First thing I want to do is turn on the subtitles so you guys have a better chance of um, hearing it. Subtitles. Should be on now. This makes it so you guys are easy to see it. So, we're going to start the stream right now. And you guys will be able to watch it. I'm going to comment where necessary. I really do like this game. I have played through the prologue at least once. Uh, well, one and a half times, I would say, would be fair. I get an achievement or two. I don't know. Let's find out. This is D4. I'm a huge fan of Sweary from Deadly Premonition. That's a bit of a controversial statement for me to make, but I don't know. This is a work of fiction. Any similarities to actual persons, places, organizations are purely coincidental. I don't think that's necessary to put at the beginning of games, but you never know. <laughs> David. <laughs> this is a story of a man with a very strange fate. Okay, now why do they have to subtitle that if that's just going to be subtitled right there? Look, it's like I've grown wings. <laughs> oh. Prologue, the day it all began. I love how this opening looks. It focuses on this white owl, snow owl. And this Microsoft Studios presents. Oh, Frozen Lake. Probably gonna be what's gonna be outside is gonna look like in two months. <laughs> oh, and her daddy. Thank you. Just a little bit so you guys don't hear too much creeper. I'll buy access games. I have the Kinect controls turned off for right now. There's a very good reason why. Um, not 100% precise. Not bad, but it's not very precise. I have played this game once before, so because of that... Some of these things might already pop up, or I might not get credits for stuff that I would normally get credits for on my first playthrough. Uh, just ignore that. Apparently this game does stack its uh, profile and achievements, and I'm happy about that. I, I do like that. It saves me having to constantly read. That over with the power of the Jedi Got it. 
money here. And Hodouken! Captain Obvious. And let's see. They like that. I had a friend who's a vegetarian watch this scene. Uh, was really worried when I said to push the owl, but as you can see here, the owl's just fine. And this game actually does allow you to push a lot of people. Um, I don't know what that says about the developers, because you do earn money every time you push. This is cracking. Yeah, he's coming right for. Oh, so that's what deep works. Now the funny thing about this, at least for comp uh, providing commentary for this kind of game, in a lot of cases, I unfortunately are not going to be as funny as the content that you're going to see in this scene coming up. This game is just really out there. So, I'm just going to sit back and enjoy some of this, but for essential, I will put in commentary. Probably how Charlie uh, Sheen wakes up every single morning. Falling down into his bathtub, holding a high heeled shoe. Where are Gears of War hoodie at that? I put him on that. Sorry. I really like the graphics for this game, but the texture popping. Welcome. Up. Oh. Um. Last space. I can work there. <gasps> Feel free to chat. Uh, post a chat. I'd be more than happy to respond. Strawberry flavor bubble gum. I didn't see you again this time either. Oh, but you found the shoe. Doesn't matter anymore. Little Peggy. Scar eggs, old scar. See, if you guys want to see that scar a little closer, we'll get a good My look. name is David Young. Former knock with the Boston PD. And now a detective who searches the past. My likes include 100% de agave tequila. My dislikes are mainly drugs and chewing gum. Chewing right now. Two years ago. Someone killed my wife. Since then, I've been using every second of my life to solve a case. Oh. Using a certain... very special power. I knew it. He's here on Nakamura. Another chewing gum. Alright. It's been broken since that day. Little Peggy. 
There's a lot of these ghost dreams. Everyone has their own place to work. A small desk in an office, a molten hot factory, a quiet library. I prefer the badge the of my life. In a life supermarket, guy. or in the middle of an intersection, in bed, on a golf course, a kitchen. For some, it's the whole town. Oh, hun! Hun! <laughs> Don't shoot! From the day she died, this has been my place to work. A gift is an expression of emotion. The person who sends it wants the feelings to be understood. Sometimes, however, those feelings remain in a slightly different form. I call these forgotten treasures mementos. This letter won by the librarian at the BPL. Perhaps it was a gift from a lover. It has a name on the back, Dominic Bean. Mild mannered librarian today. At night, she lured man with her wiles and sold him drugs. Maybe the sender of the shoe was one of her victims. Either way, she wasn't D. It was lost its power. There's my how head is full it. of memories of my wife. And the bullet that robs me of them. What happened in this place? On that day? So, this is a story about a time travel. No results this time either. This case is in the clear. Unlike Hiro Nakamura, which can basically travel through time and space at will, this guy's powers have a few limitations. He burn out stamina pretty quickly, and he has to use quite a bit. The other problem is, is that he can't just travel back in time without the need of help. He, um, he's the help of mementos. I don't like have the time for this right wrong. now. I'm going out of that house. This game is. I seen some people peg this game as a first-person shooter or a third-person shooter. I should say this game is not that kind of game. This is an adventure game. Really. It's Boston apartment. Nice place, actually. Around a little bit. Play with some music. Let's see. What do we got from food? Let's see. Nice. Ah, uh, the staple of a Swery 65 game. Damn good coffee. <sighs> Did you ever see that uh, Saturday Night Live sketch about fortune cookies? Mike Myers. Your common sense may not be the world's common sense. Values are never the same. 
true. I still always think I'm right. A Nobel Prize for the first man who put cheese in a hamburger. Really? It's the Juicy Lucy, isn't it? We better go to Minneapolis, St. Paul. Life is love. Oh. That was depressing to him, he didn't like that one. Back to that in a minute. Extra side missions I don't really want to work out right now. Out of Boston mags. 2014 Winter Olympics Ice Hockey News. Last week, the Canadian uh, candidate team members for the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi were announced. Their candidates will now undergo further training in order to make the election of the final team. In Vancouver, four years ago, America and Canada faced off in the final for the first time since Salt Lake City in 2002. I remember that game, actually. Defeated by their Canadian rivals at just one point, the American proved unable to enact their revenge. The world is that is that this time they will defeat Canada and take the title in the public will have high expectations for the team members who have been selected. Will the tournament take their be the chance? Uh, spoilers, no. The United States did not win. Fortunately, I don't even think they medaled. Sochi. Really nice. They got pretty far, but they were not able to medal. Spontaneous human combustion. Well, you know, it happens, but, you know, we don't, you know, people don't talk about it, but. Yeah, just ask the members of this is Spinal Tap. Spontaneous human combustion. A person can suddenly burst into flames and then burn up in a short space of time. Do you believe in such the existence of such a phenomenon? Bizarre coincidence in Boston last month. University student out during the weekend, partying with his friends, was suddenly enveloped in flame and burned to death. As shocked friends looked on, the victim's body was quickly consumed by fire. Once the flames were extinguished, no, you see what happened? This is just a case of like somebody drinking too much and doing something wrong. Boston has seen a series of unexplained events in recent times. I'm planning on heading down there and investigating these bizarre incidents. And I should probably likely come from the group of Boston. What am I finding? Yeah, that's good. Restore stamina. But the squirrel monkey. Actually, an achievement for um, I think all of them. What's on the TV? Hate when the remotes always work. I don't even think a TV like this would even work anymore. <laughs> hey, Amanda. Do you want to watch too? We're just at the best bit. Little. Ghost wife, ghost wife, ghost wife. Sebastian the Sleuth, Cat, who's also a detective. Huh. Just reruns. Push this plant. The plant was pay.
guy loves his tequila. So first thing I want to do is I want to give him some. Real or unreal, Jose Cuervo, was he a real guy? And the truth is that Jose Cuervo actually was a real guy, my friends. Jose There's only Cuervo. one thing I need after work. Tequila. Straight was up. the first Nothing guy to be allowed a permit for spiritus distillery in the country of Mexico. The place he decided to open his distillery was in the village of... The perfect stimulation for my lead-filled brain. Tequila. And that's where it gets the name from. And now you know. You always look so happy drinking that. I wish I could have a drink too. Does it really taste that good? Maybe I'll just try a little. Oh. <laughs> Cranberry juice is going. Did you hear about David's wife? Man. They were just married, too. I heard it was revenge for one of his investigations. Sure sounds like the way they operate. Sending a deadly message. I want to get up and walk around a little bit before I advance the plot. I really advance the plot by, um, checking the what file. What am I doing? I don't know, what are you doing? I kind of want to get some knee because I'm pretty low on stamina right now. Read it in the cover. Perfect. Sticking right out of it. Is ant seafood a thing? Typically, fresh seafood like that is not something that you just. You, 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 there's no reason to can fresh seafood like that. Burger, nice microwave burger. I gotta eat that. How's it preserved? No, seriously though, ale in Boston? I thought everybody in Boston were lager drinkers. Period. I, I, I'm being serious. It's like it could be an ale, it could be a lager, but I always figured that. And I watch a lot of uh, the show Brew Dogs. I love that show Brew Dogs. So they go to different spots. And I always thought that Boston were more um, uh, lager drinkers as opposed to ale drinkers. I figured on the West Coast they were more ale drinkers over there. But.
And the funny I thing is, no I don't drink. Of that day. When I came to, I was already lying in the ICU. The only thing I do remember are the words that little Peggy whispered as she died. Look for D. Who is D? Those words keep spinning in my head. All the fingerprints time, in the air and DNA. No compelling are, evidence. Yeah. The case hit a dead end. I was killed in that they bathroom, and they had no evidence on anybody However, other than them. Under the right circumstances, I now have the capability to solve even a dead end case. That went off the list. I'll do everything in my power to find this. D. I swear I will. And when I do, oh, Peggy. Amanda? Could that be? Alright, I wasn't expecting anyone. Well, I can do huh? this. <laughs> Oh, hold it! Whoa! Gotcha! You can't escape now! Yeah! Oh, and she still claws you! Alright, hopefully I did pretty well. That's 71% that's not bad. This is Amanda. She just suddenly started living here one day. She sometimes goes out and gets food for us. And that's something of a lifeline for me, as I don't really go outside. Just who she is, though, well, my memory holds no answers. Japanese are weird. <laughs> I mean, when I first saw a previews of this, I thought she was a Playboy bunny or something like that, or... Yo, or... David, everything ship shake? As you can see, Teddy. Definitely got the jump on you. <laughs> ah, Teddy. Forrest, Forrest Case, Case a detective with the Boston Police Department. And Name you might remember from Deadly Premonition, although I don't think it's the same guy. Search for D. He's both a client and a source of information. He gets Forrest. whatever I need. Uh. Yeah. He brought coffee. That was nice of him. Women. And he just came in and started always clawing. Trouble. Doesn't matter how old they get. Trouble. We're fighting with Diana again? <sighs> like you wouldn't believe. Women. Men don't stand a chance. Uh, don't come and see me. Actually means get right over here. But then leave me alone just means, well, leave me alone. How am I meant to make sense of that? Tell me, David, please. Presented without commentary. Coffee from a different place can be nice once in a while. What a open once a place a like that. I love All that coffee time design. Is more like it. Uh, I was a fool to ask you. Man, Diana is so stupid. Once feared as the mighty no grizzly, detective among yeah, detectives. He's now more, he's more like right? a big teddy bear. What's the point of the place? Teddy, what's this? So, tell me, David, have you heard the news about that airplane accident, huh? Access People that are joined there are welcome to post any comments, I will respond. Lighting. No one's talking about anything else right now. We might be looking at the real deal. I've got the good stuff for you this time.
of this thing. Passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Does that sound possible to you? Everything's possible, technically. Antonio Zapatero, otherwise known as Rabbit. He's a courier who only carries real blood. This one promised to provide evidence after being brought to Boston. Evidence that may well have led to the ID of the source of real blood. But then the lightning struck, and in the confusion, he vanished. He escaped somehow? No. When I say vanished, that's pretty much what I mean. Like something out of a magic act. So, clue me in. What makes this one the real deal? The name of the boss he was going to give up? apparently starts with the letter D. This courier might have had evidence revealing the identity of D. So, interested yet? Let me ask you again. A passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. Watch this. Does that sound possible to you? Third party is involved. Act will read your. No, it's impossible. There's someone pulling the strings behind this mystery. Right on the money, David. The third party most likely used the confusion to spirit the courier away. Lots of people want the evidence he was carrying, after all. From the evidence I was able to bring, this particular item is the most interesting. The owner of that badge was involved in this incident. Well? No doubt about That's it. Something. This is a memento. Great. It's yours then. Let's hope it's the last one you'll ever need. Uh, memento number two, Bloody Marshall's Badge. Piece of van vanishing evidence related to the case of the Vanishing Courier. It belonged to Federal Marshal Derek Buchanan, who was killed while transporting the courier in question. Using this should allow me to give... To dive to an airplane, which aboard which is D, a key to my wife's murder case. Welcome to the chat, guys. We're playing D4. Because I have to go to the main bathroom. I don't want to do a few things here before we get going. I really do like this apartment. If this is the kind of apartment that you can find in Boston, heck, I'd love to live in Boston. Right? It's. All his uh, magazines, you know, from Sky Mall and stuff. This whole thing about the brain's neural network and stuff like that, it's quite interesting, but the truth is, is that we still can't replicate that. I think that if it comes down to, like, computer architecture and stuff like that, like the future of computer, computer architecture, which would probably have to do with if somebody can replicate. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm just doing it for the credits. Okay, if you'd like me to purchase clothing, looks like right now I can only purchase clothing for myself, please post a comment on which kind of clothing you'd like to see me purchase. I have everything unlocked here. There's... 
Agate. Rockstar look. Very nice. Wrestling. I, I think that they could be trying to say Hulk Hogan. Try it, look. I like that one. Ano's nice. Look the stats. Enforcement. Porcupine. Fake mustache. That's actually kind of nice. Diver look. Looks like Dum Dum Dugan. The mini mustache. They allowed that in the game? I cannot. Okay, seriously. I cannot get that out of as some type of. I don't know what the word is. Uh, scruples? I'll pick the trident. I'll, I'll buy the. I'll buy the trident. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What's dude, up, what David? Guys? Something you needed to ask? It's A! What's up, David? Feeling hungry? Okay, good. Let's eat then. I know you too well. You probably have only been drinking alcohol. Well, <laughs> I did have a few fortune Your badge says before. detective for a reason, Teddy. Go get Amanda. The more the merrier at the dinner table. Anybody wants to post a comment on what they think Amanda is, they're welcome to try. Tell me, Teddy. What's up with you and Diana? Hmm. Nothing much. It's just how we roll. New York versus Boston again? That's the root of it. But both of you I are originally really from New York. Crackers. I thought you'd be double teaming me. I've been living in Boston for 30 years, man. I'm a Bostonian now, body and soul. Diana doesn't see it that way? Nah. She still got her head stuck right up in New York. So what was it this time? Baseball? Basketball? Not football. Nope. Something bigger. But what's bigger than sports rivalry? Oh, oh my well, god. He put a lot much of bigger. Much He bigger. put a lot of oysters in about those oyster clam crackers and that clam chowder. chowder. Would you like some clam chowder clam with your oysters? Chowder. Yeah! Clam chowder! No matter how you slice it, Boston has the best clam chowder in the world. Versus the Manhattan clam this, chowder? Right? right? Huh? Uh, but Diana just can't see it. I have no basis for comparison. This guy is so big. He really eats a lot. What? I've never eaten clam chowder anywhere but Boston. So it's the best in the world by default. 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 Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, David. Mm. Sorry. Uh. I can't help you out. I can't say anything absolute that isn't based on personal experience. I need you on this. All I needed you to say was damn straight. Ugh. Poor guy. He and his wife have a very tepid relationship. Okay. Let's save. Huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. do you think they're gonna realize in the apartment that he's never been talking to anyone?
Nothing sticks out to me. Two ways that I can do this. One is by getting a glass of water, but I, I'm going to need some new vision. That is not the actual Penguins logo, by the way. I should be giving that look every time. I have coffee. All right, what do we got here? Okay, so this is only keeping track of active cases. A lot of cases. What's up, David? Something you needed to ask? Couriers in the Drug Enforcement Administration. BPD in this case. That worked. So how are the BPD tied up in this? The BPD has the special drugs unit, after all. The team you once belonged to. Once? We have a long history of handling real blood. Our past knowledge can come in handy for cases like this one. Without real blood. Any progress with the case since I left? Uh, we're still hard at work on it. We're not getting any results. This drug is king across New England now. Mm. I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's been under analysis for years, but MIT still doesn't know how to make it. That's Seriously. Right. The world's going That's a little to hell. Unusual. That the past. Do you think the past can be changed? David, you can't change the past. You just have to accept the past. I know, but if I could just meet with little Peggy one last time, I'll change the past. You'll see. So why'd this courier turn witness, anyway? I don't know the details, but apparently he's in fear for his life. He turned himself into the DEA. And they trust him? Uh, I don't know about that, either. But this is information about the mastermind behind real blood. I mean, they're probably saying, can't hurt to hear him out. I feel exactly the same way. Identity of the courier. What's the bio on the courier? Antonio Zapatero, 28. Quick to go underground, but then quickly pops up again somewhere else. That's why they call him the courier rabbit. <laughs> why rabbit? He's also rabbit a does. womanizer. So... You know how rabbits are. Strong libidos. I bet the ladies call him bunny in bed. <laughs> hey, you don't call somebody that. Courier and his evidence. Why is this courier running his mouth about providing evidence, then? Standing out like that, he'll get penalized and sit out a match. It's like he's begging the bad guys to come silence him. It's a real blood case, after all. I mean, a regular courier wouldn't talk, even if it meant death. If I had to choose between jail and hell, oh man, I'd still choose lockup. Uh, there's something behind all this. Conspiracy theories. So it's all a big conspiracy? Don't ask me. 
There are people who have conspiracy theories about your case, though. You lost your beloved wife, and I lost the best partner a cop could ever ask for. Thank you. Yeah, the more you think about the questions, the more distant the answers become. Humans may not have the ability to understand the complete truth. I want to get out of here. The bedroom. I need to stop, I can screw around with it here. Right. And his energy drinks been come as ubiquitous in video games as it has. I have noticed that recently. Um, they were in this game, they were in South Park, The Stick of Truth. Film Festival. You know, I've actually been to the Con Film Festival. Um, it wasn't in session at the time, but um, I had heard a pretty bad story. Well, actually, it wasn't a pretty bad story. A nice story. Uh, yeah. Hey. Want to change clothes? Brothers and wind up night outfits. I like him. I don't know, I just like the Gears of War hoodie the best. It's kind of nice. I know there are some people out there that have had problems trying to get, there is a, uh, a, what do you call it, back here. But it actually can be gotten quite easily. Just gotta... Oh, we got to that credit. It's not good. This. Yes. I was lucky to survive. Ironically, though, I've got a best piece of evidence still lodged in my head. <laughs> A little bit like me. I change his beard to something that matches mine. What do you think? When a desire goes unfulfilled, it only increases in power. Stagnating like a blocked pond. Those are the mementos I seek. Those are the kind of memories that will invite me back into the past.
the memento we're going to use. I think I've done everything here. Talked to everybody, I've investigated everything. I mean, almost everything. Can't clean in here right now. Not everything that I can do in this mission. Oh, that's much it, I think. You guys won't. Oh, where's the umbrella? Umbrella's in a little bit. That's it. I don't. I. I don't think there's anything else for me to do left. Oh, I got an achievement. Nice. Got the achievement. Nothing escapes my gaze. We can talk to Amanda one more time. Not really selling that much right now, this mission. I don't like this one. Alright, I'll buy this one. It looks like Hulk Hogan. I promise I won't wear this near the Iron Sheet or something. Get this one too. like that when I was in high school. Thanks for all the help. I used to dress like that when I was uh, in high school. Oh my god, they, did they model this after me? I mean, seriously, look at this. I this force, to my hair. That fact won't change. Hell, if you trace it all the way back, if I hadn't asked you to join up in the first place... Teddy! No, no, no. Don't give me that look, Amanda. I'm just trying to give him a reason to live. <sighs> Little Peggy. Time has been frozen for me since that day. <laughs> Will I see you this time? <laughs> I am to set right what once went wrong. Hope that the next week. End of the prologue. And that is the prologue mission of D4. Uh, Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to roll the credits for you guys, see if I got any extra achievements here. I think I did get an achievement on this one that I hadn't gotten prior, but we'll see. I already got one extra achievement. Mind synchro rate of 100%, adventure synchro rate, no data.
on synchro rate 71%. My average is 85, which is above what it would take to get to Fluid ounces of alcohol ingested. And we're going to go to the main menu. So that's the prologue, guys. I hope you enjoyed. There are two more episodes for D4, but I only wanted to do the prologue for the purposes of this Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other ideas for games on the PS4 or the Xbox One or something you'd like for me to play or you'd like to see me do a Let's Play of, I typically don't do full Let's Plays. I only do a Let's Play of like an opening or something like that. I'll be happy to look into it. Tell me what you think. Rate, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Until next time, guys, this is Maniac. Access.net.